Good evening, favorite class. Today I want to teach you how to tell if three side lengths can make or cannot make a right triangle. So please make this the title of the next three page in your math notebook. When you've done that, turn off any distractions, put away any distractions, clear out your space, empty your hands, turn on your mind, and we'll get to it. Okay. Um, so we have been talking about using the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing hypotenuse in a right triangle. Remember the hypotenuse, spelled like this, fancy word, is the side that does not touch the right angle, so to speak. These are called legs here. Um, and we've been using leg plus b squared, which is the other leg, equals c squared, which is the hypotenuse. So in this particular instance, we would say that three squared, the first leg, plus three squared, the second leg, equals whatever c squared is going to be. So c squared, I'm going to go over here. So that means that 18 equals c squared. And so that would mean that c is whatever the square root of 18 is, which is a little more than 4. The square root of 16 is 4, 25. So it's going to be 4 point not much. Uh, and that's what we've done. And remember, too, that only works for right triangles. So I couldn't use that, th that uh, Pythagorean theorem here because that's not a right triangle. So that's what we've done so far. So real quick before I get to kind of the type of question you're going to be out, in any right triangle, the hypotenuse has to be the longest side. So when we look at these, if I mark the right angle in each of these, these are all right triangles. Every single time, the hypotenuse has to be the longest side. There's no way for the hypotenuse to be shorter than one of the legs. So like if you look at this, you know, if you could kind of bring this down flatten it out it would be longer than that longest leg same thing here it would be pretty close to the same length as this really long leg but if you brought it down it'd be ever so slightly longer um, here i think it's pretty obvious that one's longer by a lot this one's longer by a teeny bit but just thing to know the hypotenuse has to be the longest side and that's going to be important today because sometimes you're going to be asked questions like this can a right triangle have side lengths of 5, 12, and 13? And knowing that the longest side would have to be the hypotenuse is going to get us off to a good start. If this is possibly a right triangle, a 5, a 12, and a 13, if those lengths of sides can make a triangle, this one would have to be the hypotenuse because the hypotenuse has to be the longest side, and that is a big clue. So if these can be a right triangle, then we can then the Pythagorean theorem should be true. Then the leg squared plus the other leg squared should equal the hypotenuse squared. If these can't make a right triangle, then the leg squared plus the other leg squared will not make the hypotenuse squared. If it doesn't work out, if I add these two up after I square them, and they do make this squared, then I've got a right triangle. If they don't, then I don't. So that's how we're going to treat it. So what I'm going to see is, is it true that the first leg squared plus the second leg squared, I'm going to put equal, but I'm going to put like a question mark over it. Like I don't know if they're equal. So I don't want to say that they are. I want to see if this is true. So what I'm trying to decide is, is that true? Yes, then I do have a right triangle. If it's not, then I don't. So if I'm right, then 25 plus 144 should equal, and I'm going to keep the question marks until I know, should equal 13 squared is 169, I happen to know. So that should be true if I have a right triangle. Let's check and see, does 25 plus 144 equal that, and it does. So now that I do see that the two are equal, kind of like check, got it. Um, that means, yes, I do have a right triangle. That's how that works. Let's do another one. Um, oh, before I do another one, uh, just in that case. So in this case, when you do get kind of a yes for this kind of question, so like 5, 12, and 13 were a yes. They are make a right triangle. When you get numbers that work like that, um, those are called Pythagorean triples. Um, they're, you know, 
there are ones especially where all the numbers are whole numbers so like we just did this one five squared plus 12 squared makes 13 squared um, here are some other common ones they're not very common they're they're actually quite rare there's not that many sets of three numbers where if you square one square the other add them together you'll get another whole number squared they're very rare um, but here are some so those are called pythagorean triples just the set of three numbers um all right i thought i was going to do another one of on my own i apparently am not so go ahead and open your notebook um first thing to write down for your notes today um, and maybe a couple examples is this in any right triangle the hypotenuse has to be the longest side if you didn't know that a question like this other one would be really hard to answer that we just did because you wouldn't know you know does this plus this equal this or does this plus this equal this it'd be really hard to know how to set them up so the first thing to know is whatever the longest side is if we're right that has to be the hypotenuse so pause and write that down now okay. now let's try one together so can a right triangle have side length 7 10 and 13. so here's how we're going to approach this if yes if this is true then the leg squared plus the other leg squared will equal the hypotenuse squared if not then the leg squared plus the other leg squared will not equal the hypotenuse squared and that's what we want to see so the first thing to know is out of these which ones are the legs and which ones the hypotenuse that's why I pointed out on that last slide in a right triangle if it is one this would have to be the hypotenuse has to be the longest side so if this is going to work then we want to see does 7 squared plus 10 squared equal and I'm going to do that question mark thing I don't want you to say that they're equal if they might not be um, equal 13 squared so that's what I want to see so that would mean that 49 plus 100 does it equal 13 squared is 169 and you can tell here that it does not um, if you want to be formal about it you say like 149 does not equal 169 so we do not have a right triangle not right it's a wrong triangle if you will and that is how that works um let's do one where it is going to work out just so you get to see one of those in your notes too um, i'll go back here if you need to pause i'm sorry and when you unpause um, go ahead so that's how it turns out when it doesn't work when it does this one's going to um same kind of thing here so we're going to say to ourselves does the leg squared plus the other leg squared equal the hypotenuse squared or not or does the leg squared plus the other leg squared not equal the hypotenuse squared so in that case remember this would have to be the hypotenuse because it's the longest so we want to know does 3 squared plus 4 squared equal 5 squared spoiler it does it says 9 plus 16 equals 25 and that is a check I'll do the question marks here so those do work um, so we have a yes situation and this is indeed a right triangle three four and five that is if you want to oh pause and write if you need it and that is if you need it called a pythagorean triple last thing to write pythagorean triples are sets of numbers where the lower two squared equal the upper one squared we looked uh the i do was this one 5 12 and 13 is a pythagorean triple and then we just did this one two three four and five um, also a pythagorean triple so um that's that that's how you solve a problem like that i hope this makes great sense to you um, if you feel like you could look at any three numbers and decide if they were a pythagorean triple to make a right triangle or not then you are all set if not you got distracted or zoned out or tuned out or something like that just give this another go um, and i promise a second time through i think you'll have a lot of success with it and you'll feel great when you get to class tomorrow and i can't wait to see you then